when I originally laid this uh, this head tube up, um, I tried to do it so that the width of the carbon fiber matched uh, what I needed for the uh, outside diameter of this uh, this headset cup, um, but it didn't really work out like I'd wanted it to. Um, I filed that out a little bit, and it will almost fit in there, but uh, it's not going to work how it is now. So um, what I'm going to need to do is is sand that out, and the way that I'm doing that is I took this piece of PVC pipe, I wrapped it with some clear packaging tape to get the correct width, um, which I need is a 44 millimeter. So um, basically, I took my calipers and and measured uh, the width of, or the thickness of the sandpaper. Then I'll use some seven, uh, Super 77 spray on here and glue the uh, sandpaper onto this pipe. Then I'll take this pipe and stick it down in the tube and hollow that out. Now that's not going to be a, a real precise um, fit for the uh, headset cup, but uh, what I'm going to do is when I put this in the jig, I'll use some um, epoxy and uh, graphite powder, make a real nice glue and put the headset in. Um, I'll also wax the uh, headset so it doesn't uh, stay in there permanently. So um, everything should be lined up when, when uh, we put it in the jig. Okay, I want to show you how good this thing works. So basically you just take this, stick it in there, and you're just reaming that out. I'm going to check it with the, the cup. Still needs a little bit more out. So I'm just going to do this until it gets done. Um, I've already done this other side. And see now it fits in there nice and snug. So uh, that's an easy, kind of a crude way to do it. Okay, I wanted to show you how I get the frame perpendicular to the axle and the bottom bracket points. Um, basically, you just take a t piece of tape and um, I mark it on the uh, top of the wall here. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Then I find the center point. And then I also find the center point of the uh, frame. And then I just line the two up. And that'll get your uh, frame perpendicular to your, your axle and wheel points and stuff. Okay, I just wanted to show you real quick the, uh, the rear dropout. Um, I just used a paper template to get my lines. And then I've already did a trial fit and everything. Everything works fine. Uh, the only thing that I did wrong on this was I didn't account for the uh, derailleur hanger being so tall and also um, the screw hole for the, the uh, derailleur hanger is, is higher than, than my, uh, my dropout goes. So anyway, remember to uh, keep that in mind when you're building your plans. Other than that, it works fine. Um, this is the uh, bottom bracket shell, and you can see there I've got it marked the left and the right side. If you're not sure what side it is, on your bottom bracket cups, you can see there there's an L and an R on the uh, on the cups there. So that'll tell you which is the left and the right side. Make sure you put it in the frame like that, left and right, if you're uh, looking from the rear to the front. You can also see on here that I've got a lot of scratches. I did that so that it doesn't twist when it's in the shell. I'm going to be using some epoxy and some graphite powder. And that's what this piece of tape is on there. I'm going to be shoving this through the uh, frame. I don't want any of the epoxy to get on the uh, threads there. So uh, that's that. Uh, the, uh, um, the headset cups, I went ahead and waxed those because I'm going to be uh, pushing these down into the uh, top tube, or excuse me, the, uh, the head tube with some of the graphite powder and epoxy. That way we get a nice tight fit in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing jigged up and, and epoxied and then I will uh, fill you in on what it looks like then. Okay, here's the uh, bike and the jig and it's just sitting out in the sun. Basically I put some epoxy and that graphite powder on you know the 
the headset cups and put a little bit up here since I had a little bit left over. I um, also did the uh, bottom bracket shell. And I've got this here. This is uh, for the, the rear brake. Um, basically the, the uh, rear brake uh, goes into that and then the uh, rear brake bolt goes right here on the back side. You can see that there, that hole there. Um, so anyway, that gets cut off. Just a little piece of brass tube. I couldn't find any aluminum tube that would fit like I wanted, so I used that little brass tube. So there it is.